Rockstar Games is lying to you, and honestly, I don't know whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. If you're new here and enjoy GTA 6 content, or you enjoy gaming content, why not go ahead and click that subscribe button? So, how is Rockstar lying to us? Well, this really isn't anything new. It's their trailers. Their trailers tend to be extremely misleading, like extremely, to the point where the graphics are different, the characters are different, they even use some of the same car models that never appear in the game. So have they done this with GTA 6? Well, yeah, it's Rockstar. Of course they have. So you're sat there now thinking you're going to play the game that looks like this? Well, think again. Although this isn't necessarily a bad thing, as when the game releases, it tends to look a hundred times better. Now, why on earth would Rockstar deliberately make their games look worse in the trailers? Well, I don't think it's done a hundred percent deliberately. You see, the trailers are one of the first things Rockstar make. Typically, before they've done polishing the game, and usually when the game is in early development, therefore trailers, especially the first trailers, look a lot worse than when the game is actually released. We can see this very prominently when looking at the Red Dead Redemption 2 trailers. The first one looks a bit weird, it looks low resolution at time, and overall not the best. The second trailer looks slightly better, although still not amazing, but when we get the launch trailer it looks so much better, pretty much just as good as when we were playing it. I think Rockstar know that if a game looks amazing in a trailer but then turns out to be disappointing, especially graphically, it tends to be one of the biggest game killers. Rockstar are known for doing everything within their game engine. There are no CGI cutscenes or enhanced scenes, everything is done in real time in the game engine. Which means that yes, everything we saw in the GTA 6 trailer was being rendered in real time. Which is honestly insane to think about, as some of these scenes look epic. Some people don't seem to like the fact that Rockstar does this as they think it ruins the hype a bit. Some people argue that Rockstar should use CGI scenes in their trailers to make everything look graphically amazing and build up tons more hype. Personally, I think I'm more hyped knowing that what I'm seeing is 100% in the game and what I will be seeing in game. Well, actually, I will no doubt be seeing something better in game by the time it's released. Although I can definitely see where people are coming from with the CGI scenes from Rockstar because CGI scenes from Rockstar to do with GTA 6 would be pretty awesome. Some of the cars in the GTA 6 trailer many people have been quick to cry about claiming that they look like the cars in GTA 5. Well yeah, maybe. Maybe they're using a slightly enhanced version of the same model. But that's the thing with the first trailers of Rockstar games. A lot of the time they use assets that they haven't yet got around to remaking. For example, in GTA 5, we saw an old cop car asset that was used in GTA 4. But when GTA 5 actually released, we never saw that asset. And we actually got a completely remade and enhanced cop car. So if there were things in the trailer that you thought seemed low quality or similar to GTA 5, don't worry, they're likely assets that just haven't been enhanced yet. But like I mentioned earlier, some people get mad at Rockstar for doing this and instead argue for them to finish making the game, polish it and polish all the assets before releasing a trailer as seeing old assets and some low quality placeholders in the trailer, especially announcement trailers, may ruin the hype for some people. I know a lot of car fans were disappointed seeing some of the same car models in the GTA 6 trailer, especially as we've been driving those exact car models for the past 10 years, it's understandable. I honestly can't wait to see trailer 2 and be able to compare the car models, graphics, etc, as I reckon all of these things will have been improved, although not massively, and when looking at the Red Dead and GTA 5 trailers, it can be hard to spot the individual upgrades per trailer. Although when you look at the first trailer compared to the last trailer or the released version of the game, it becomes very visible. Tell me what you think Rockstar need to master in GTA 6. And if you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Stay tuned.